watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ. The Lord, welcome to Faith and Great Life. I'm excited to be here today, maybe because of what God has for us today. My prayer is that none of you will miss the blessings of today. Father, I release this out, these people before you. I ask that you breathe on us. Breathe on us the, the, the breath of heaven. Let us receive from you and let our life be transformed. Let this word, O Lord, make us to know Jesus better. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today, by the grace of God, I have, you know, a brand new series for us to, to, to take home. Amen. And um, the title is Knowing Jesus Christ Personally. Knowing Jesus Christ Personally. Or if I may put it this way, who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus Christ to you? Knowing Jesus Christ personally is very important, especially at this time as we are preparing for Easter, you know, the, the death and the resurrection of our Master Jesus. Because it takes the revelation of God for us to be able to know whom this Jesus is. Or else we just see Easter as just one of those uh, uh, events, just uh, festivals. No, it's more than that. Hallelujah. You know, let's look at the scriptures. We are taking our text for this series from the book of Matthew chapter 16. Chapter 16 from verse 13, where Jesus Christ asks his disciple, who do men say that he is, or who are you, or, or, or whom do you say I am? Now, let's take it from verse 13. He said, now when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I am? The Son of Man? Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? I love that. Verse 14, it goes on. It says, so they, so they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, <coughs> or one of the prophets. Verse 15, he said to them, But who do you say that I am? <laughs> Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. <laughs> Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Amen. I want to take that scripture again. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. In other words, God, Simon had a revelation of Jesus Christ. Yes, and the, the revelation of his identity. And you can see the revelation comes only by the Father. That's Jesus Christ say, telling uh, Simon Peter, he said, look, this revelation is but by my Father who is in heaven. You know, the Bible is very clear about it. Christ repeated the same thing. Because no man can come to Jesus except the Father reveals Jesus to that person. My prayer in this series is that may Jesus be revealed unto you. May it be revealed to everyone under the sound of my voice. You know, in the book of John chapter 6 verse 25, and 65, John chapter 6, verse 65, he says, And he said, Therefore I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my Father. So people do not come to Jesus Christ by scrutiny or by searching through the Google. Mm -hmm. You know, everything, well, if you want to look for, uh, get an information, you want to know some, something about somebody or somewhere or a country, you know, you, you, you search through the the, the, the biggest and the best search engine, you know, Google search engine. You don't get Jesus by, by searching through the Google. No, you don't get that. It comes only by the Father's revelation. Only the Father can reveal the Son to us. My prayer is that everyone that will we, that we listen, that will hear this message, this teaching, may the Father reveal Jesus to you. 
as we are celebrating the, the, the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in this season, may Jesus be revealed to you by the Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So when you look at um, the series we are looking at here, you know, Jesus wants his disciple to grasp family, his true identity before he reveals to them the, the, the necessity of his coming, death, and resurrection. Just as the, the, the Easter Sunday is approaching, and um, we, we need to have an understanding. We need, we need to add, grasp the true identity of Jesus Christ. So that when you are celebrating Easter, it will add meaning unto you. You need to know the subject of Easter. You need to understand who Jesus is. You need to have a revelation of him. I pray that before the, we finish the teaching on this knowing Jesus Christ personally, may the Father God reveal his son to you. That's my prayer as we begin this teaching. You know, Jesus Christ asked a question. Let's go back to that uh, fourth scripture again. Matthew chapter 16 from verse 13 to 17. I want, this, I want this message to sing to us. I want this teaching to have impact in our life. He said, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, who do men say that I am? This, who that I the son of man am. In other words, as you are here, maybe you have only learned about Jesus from somebody, from the pastor or from the, the only on the television or the one you read in 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 the school or in the Bible or you 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 the ones you are told of him, and they said all sort of thing about Jesus Christ. Some people believe that Jesus Christ is just a prophet. Some said it's just, oh, the, the, one of the old prophets is John the Baptist. It's just this and that. You know, Herod also said the same thing in his time. But he now, he, he went on and asked them, what about you? You that you have been following me in over three years now. You have known me from the beginning. Now, what is your own understanding about me? Now, let's look at verse 14. Verse 14 of that scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> verse 14 says, So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Verse 15. Now, see the, the next question. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? I want you to underline that I am in your Bible. You need to know what Jesus is. That is, who, what, what Jesus says he is. He said, I am. Who do, who do you say that I am? Hallelujah. So we'll be looking at the true identity, the true personality of Jesus Christ. We'll be looking at what he has said that he is. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the life and the resurrection. We, may, may, may we understand this thoroughly so that we will not be tossed here and there about Jesus Christ. And now, I, 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 let's move on looking at who Jesus is. I am. So today, by the grace of God, we want to look at the first thing that Jesus Christ said he is to us so that we can have... Um, uh, a, a good understanding of who Jesus is. Number one, we want to look at Jesus, the bread of life. And that is our topic number one <clears throat> in this series, which I tie to knowing Jesus Christ personally. <clears throat> we want to look at Jesus, the bread of life. Jesus Christ, the bread of life. You can see that scripture where Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Amen. Do you understand this? Do you understand? Do you know Jesus as the bread of life? When we look at the, 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 the context where this statement was, was made, you, you, you will ap appreciate and, and align yourself to the true understanding of who Jesus Christ is when he says, I am the bread of life. You know, he said this shortly, I mean, 
after he has fed 5,000 people. Look at, the, the, look, look at the children of Israel. The previous day, he fed 5,000 people and they were excited. Wonderful. They remember the manner, I mean, how the children of Israel were fed in the wilderness for 40, I mean, years with manna. And they feel that, oh, the time of manna has come again. So the, fol the following day, they started looking for Jesus Christ, you know, to feed them with the, with the bread again so that he, can, he did it yesterday, he can do it again. We know Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. But these people, they have not gotten the revelation of Jesus Christ, as many of us do. My prayer is that you will not look for Jesus, you will not go to church, you will not be a Christian just because of what you want to eat. That is what we, have to, we need to learn about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is more than giving you bread and butter. Jesus Christ is more than giving you riches and, and wealth. Jesus Christ is more than giving you all the, I mean, what you, what you want to eat and what you want to drink. Let's look at this, this scripture from the book of Matthew chapter uh, verse 16. Uh, no, chapter 6 from verse 15. It, it's going to be a long one. Um, no, no, John chapter 6. Let's look at John chapter 6 from verse 22. Now, on the following day, when the people who were standing on the other side of the sea saw that there was no other boat there except that one, on the following day, that is the previous day, something happened. He fed 5,000. And now they were searching for this man, looking for Jesus Christ the, the, the next day, except that one, which, and now let's, let's go on, let's go on very fast now. Uh, verse 22 of that book of uh, John. However, um, other boats came from Tiberias, near the place where they ate bread after the Lord had given thanks. You remember now? So he fed them yesterday with bread. 5,000 people, quite excited. And when the Bible said 5,000 people, it means just the men alone. The Bible says excluding the women and the children. So he must have fed over 20,000 people. Now verse 24. Hallelujah. So when the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, nor his disciple, they also got into boats and came to Capernaum, seeking Jesus. Seeking him for what? Verse 25. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? <laughs> Jesus Christ answered them and said, Most assuredly I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Hallelujah. Let, let's hang on here for a while. Please, let, let's keep that verse 26 on, on the screen. Say, Jesus answered them and said, Most assuredly I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. <laughs> These people were fed yesterday and they were happy. <laughs> They, 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 they did not um, seek Jesus because he's the son of man. He did not seek Jesus like that one God has sent. But they were seeking him as the provider of, of the bread. Of the provider of what they shall eat and what they shall drink. As many of us. <laughs> are you seeking Jesus because of your work? Are you praying to Jesus just because of your daily living? If that is what you, I mean, you seek Jesus for, only then you don't have a personal revelation of Jesus Christ yet as the bread of life. Today I want to introduce him to you as he introduced himself to those people, to that the crowd when he was on planet Earth. I want to introduce Jesus Christ to you. I want you to understand. And I pray that the Father will reveal to you Jesus Christ who is the true bread of life. Amen. Because sincerely speaking, the church is filled today with believers who, who believe only in Jesus as their Jehovah Jireh. God is more than being a Jehovah Jireh. God is more than being the one that provides, you know, ordinary bread. Our Lord is more than that. 
Now let's go on so that you can you can appreciate Jesus. So that when you are celebrating the Easter, you will not be celebrating him based on the food and the dining and the eating and the so-called egg you carry about during Easter. It's more than that. My Jesus is more than the colored egg and the bread and the wine and the setting of the table. It's more than that. Verse 27, quickly. Hallelujah. Malisa Kayalaba. Hmm. Verse 27 says, For the Son of Man, Sorry, okay. He said, do not labor for the food which perishes. And that is the key thing this word is saying to everyone else. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because the Father has set his seal on him. Many of us labor for the food which perishes. <clears throat> Many of us are in this land, in this country, just for the food that perishes. Many of us are in this America because of the, the food, of the money they're going to make. This thing does not last. It does not endure forever. Hmm. But I want you to seek God, to labor for the food which endures to everlasting life. This comes by the revelation of Jesus Christ personally. Because God the Father has set his seal on him. Verse 28. Hmm. Let's go on. Then they said to him, What shall we do that we may walk the works of God? Verse 29. They're just trying to pull his leg. But Jesus Christ knows the mind of these people. Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who sent me, whom he is sent. Therefore they said to him, What sign will you perform then, that we may see it and believe you? What work will you do? <laughs> Our father ate the manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Can you see the people? These people gather together again the following day to eat the manna. And that is how they believe Moses. They believe Moses mostly because of the manna their fathers ate in the desert. And they want to, if, they, if Jesus Christ is that type of Moses, they want him to show that sign again. They were talking of bread, bread, bread. Everything, everything. If your life is only about the bread that perishes, then you have not known Jesus. If you live only to, 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 to get the bread that is not from heaven, that is not from God, that is not the bread of life, then you are not yet a Christian. You have not known Christ yet. And my prayer is that may the Father reveal Christ to you as the bread of life. May the Father reveal him to you as the true bread of life. Now, let's, 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 give, let's write on verse 32. Amen. He said, then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my father gives you the true bread from heaven. Can you see? You see, their, their focus was on Jesus. They have not even known the father. They have not known, known the father who gave the bread. And that is just what happened to many of us. We look at Signs and wonders from the, from pastors, from prophets, from apostles, from men of God, and they don't know the God of the man. May, 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 may you begin to know and see the God behind the, the, the God of the man, and not just the man of God. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's, let's, let's ride on verse 30, 32 again. Let's go back to verse 32 again. Hmm. Hallelujah. He said, Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven. It is not your pastor or your apostle or your prophet that is giving you the, the miracle. They are just instruments. We are just instruments in the hand of God. Don't idolize man of God. Don't idolize man. Try to see the God of the man, which is very important. But my father, that is the God of the man, is my father who is in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Let's jump to verse 33. Verse 33 of the scriptures. It says, 
For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Now, we are, we, are, we, are, we are coming in. Revelation is coming up. Christ is trying to reveal himself to them. Not just the bread they ate. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life unto men. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. People want bread always. People want bread always. But I have come to announce to you the bread of life. Verse 35. And Jesus said to them, <laughs> verse 35. And Jesus said to them, I am, verse 35, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. I wanted to underline this place in the Bible and begin to meditate on it, begin to, 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 to pray about it that God may, may show you Jesus as the bread of life. Here is the place where he revealed himself to the world and to the people of Israel that I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. Hallelujah. My prayer is that everyone under the sound of my voice, may this word of God, may this scripture enter into your heart and may it never be removed from your heart. As this word enters into your heart, may you become, you know, that, that, what God wants you to be. Knowing Jesus as the bread of life. He said, when you know him as the bread of life, you will never be hungry and you will never be tested. Because you feed on this. Let, let, let's see what it means from verse 36. Now, verse 36 is, but I say, to you that you have seen me and yet you do not believe. Verse 37. All that the Father gives, all that the Father gives, verse 37, all that the Father gives me will come to me. And the one who comes to me, I will by no means cast away. Verse 38. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him, but to do the will of him who sent me. Verse 39, this is the will of the Father who sent me that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. Verse 40, and this is the will of him who sent me that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Stop there. I wanted to take an understanding, get an understanding here. When you believe in Christ as the bread of life, the Bible says you will have everlasting life and it will raise you up at the last day. In case you sleep before he comes back, he's going to raise you up at the end of the day. Believing and knowing Jesus Christ as the bread of life. Next scripture. Mm. Verse 40, and this is the will of him who sent me. That Okay, verse, um, verse 41 now. Verse 41, because of time. And Jesus, the Jews then complained about him because he said, I am the bread. I, <laughs> because I am the bread which came down from heaven. That's a problem. There's no understanding of Jesus Christ. They don't know him personally as the bread of life. As many of us do not know him as the bread of life. That is why we see our daily bread as more than the bread of life. Verse 42. Verse 42 says, mm -hmm. And they said, It's not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know. How is it then that he says, I have come down from heaven? They don't know him. They don't know him as the bread of life. Can you see? They know him as a mere son of John. The, but they even know him. They know the mother. They know the father. They know him as a carpenter. They know him as a boy in the carpenter's shop. But they don't know him as the one who has come from heaven. The bread of life. Hallelujah. Verse 43. Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Do not murmur among yourself. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me, verse 44, who sent me draws him and I will raise him up at the last day. This is my prayer for you that God himself will reveal Jesus unto you. 
No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him. And I will raise him up at the last day. My prayer, God, Lord, reveal Jesus to everyone under the sound of my voice. Let them know him as the bread of life. <laughs> Let me quickly join, jump to verse um, verse 48. He repeated again. He said, I am the bread of life. Your father ate manna, verse 49, in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which come down from heaven. But 51, I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will, never, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. My prayer at this hour that may Jesus Christ reveal himself. May the Father reveal Jesus to you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. The, no one can come to the Father unless the unless, no one can come to the Son unless the Father reveals him. And you under the sound of my voice, you may you may be wondering why have I not accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior? It is because the Father has not revealed him to you. And my prayer is by the reason of this teaching, this this hour, may Christ be revealed unto you, and may you begin to see him as the bread of life. I want to give you the opportunity to, to, to give your life to him because it takes you giving your life to Jesus to be able to, to be saved and begin to enjoy the bread of life. And if you are ready to do so, I, I want you to quickly say this prayer of salvation because it is necessary. That's the first step of coming to Jesus. Say this prayer, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I am a sinner, but you died for me. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. Take control of my life from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Congratulations if you have said this prayer. And if you have said it, the next thing you need to do is to join yourself to a Bible-believing church. Begin to grow. Walk up to the pastor and say, I have given my life to Jesus. And if you are in the city of Houston, we want to invite you. Come to Faith and Grace Church and continue to receive more of the Word of God that is able to build you up. And I want to encourage you, please don't miss this series. Because we need to understand Jesus Christ personally. We need to know Jesus Christ as I am, the one who said I am the bread of life. Next week, by the grace of God, we are going to look at him as the resurrection and the life. For he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Easter is approaching and my prayer is that look, may you have that thorough understanding of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And may his walk on the cross of Calvary not be in vain for you. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You are now. Watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ.